Hello. <laughs> Making sure I don't have a turnip greens in my, or collard greens. I don't know, whatever they are. Making sure I don't have tar, tar, green things hanging out my teeths. Okay, that's what I'm saying. I'm just making sure I do not have a mouthful of greens hanging out of my mouth. Y'all, I cooked black-eyed peas and collard greens. That's what they are, not turnip greens. Collard greens for the first time ever. Don't judge me. My mom always cooked out of a can. I have cooked out of a can black-eyed peas and turnip greens or collard greens, whatever greens. Just greens, Tracy, just greens. But I've never cooked it fresh. So I did buy this little packet of, they were like, kind of like freeze-dried black-eyed peas, and they'd already been soaked. So I got those, as opposed to the kind that you needed to soak for 12 days before you cooked them, or overnight, whatever. So, and I bought a bag of fresh greens. Well, I watched a video yesterday on how to cook the greens. And they were amazing. You take, I only use three half pieces of bacon, okay? So, a slice and a half in normal people words. But I always slice my bacon packet in half. And I cook short pieces because the dang bacon's longer than my big, my biggest pan. And it's all flipped up on the sides like flipper. And so I, anyway, I just cut it in half. So I, I used a piece and a half of bacon. And when it was done, I pulled it out and I chopped it up. And I had already chopped up an entire onion, a white onion. And I put the onion in the bacon grease. So you already know it's gonna be good when you put the onion in the bacon grease. And then I added salt and pepper, garlic powder, chicken stock. Now I used unsalted chicken stock, which I'm glad I did use unsalted because it was a little salty. And I didn't add that much salt, but I guess greens, maybe greens are like kale. To me, kale's already salty anyway. But since I'd never cooked these, I wasn't real sure, so I added the salt. And then to the black-eyed peas, I put them in a pan, and I poured a little bit of the bacon grease that was in that skillet into the pan with the black-eyed peas. Okay, so I poured in the chicken stock, maybe a cup. And then I added the greens and just let them cook down until they were good and tender and let the black-eyed peas cook until they were good and tender. And then I had bought this little tiny packet of ham and I put a couple of slices of ham in the same skillet as the turnip greens to let them just kind of heat up so I, wouldn't, so I was not eating cold ham. And then I did cheat and I bought Publix Southern Style Potato Salad because it's really good. And why make a whole potato salad for you when they make a tiny little version for you? That's just as good. And I am full and fat and happy. Happy, happy, happy. And now here we are on January 1st making a video. And I forgot what it's supposed to be about because I started talking about something else. So I'll be back when I remember what it's about. Okay? Okay. Hello. Came back to me. Okay, so I, growing up, I had an aunt or an aunt, depending on how you say it, that made the absolute best Buckeyes. Now, if you don't know what a Buckeye is, you're really missing out. It's a peanut buttery, doughy-like thing that is then dipped in chocolate, and when it's done, it looks like a Buckeye, a nut. It's brown, and then it's got the beige at the top, just like a Buckeye, okay? She made the absolute best ones you've ever tasted in your life. So, I asked my cousin if he had his mother's Buckeye recipe, and he said yes. And he sent me, well, actually his wife did, sent me the recipe. I was so very excited. However, what I did not realize is that the Buckeye recipe would require graham crackers. Now, I know you're like, okay, and, well, I'm gluten-free, so I can't have graham crackers. So, 
I kind of on the old Amazon and I found gluten-free graham crackers. And I ordered two boxes because I wasn't sure, you know, with gluten-free, you get smaller packaging for way more money. Because those of us who are gluten-free, we love being gluten-free. So therefore, we want to pay more money for less product. Anyway, so I ordered two boxes. Well, thank you, Amazon, for, um, oh, I don't know, putting it under the heaviest boxes on the truck and or throwing it um, once you got here from the street to my front porch. Whatever the case was, the box was crumpled. And inside the box, the box of graham crackers was crumbled. And when I say it was crumbled, there wasn't a solid graham cracker in that box. Now, I have not opened the second box because it doesn't look quite as um, torn up as the first box. But I wanted to open the box so I could try the graham crackers and see how they tasted because gluten-free doesn't always mean better. Again, I love paying more for getting less and it not tasting as good as regular. People say gluten-free. People, it's a fad. I can assure you it's not a fad. But anyway, I digress. So, I got the crackers, the box open, and the crackers were shattered into a million pieces, but I had some, you know, bite-sized bite pieces. Well, that's all it was, was bite-sized pieces. But anyway, I ate a couple of them really good, and I was like, hmm, okay. And then I went to look for the recipe, and apparently I either deleted it, because I took, she sent me pictures of the index card where the recipe was written. I took a snapshot, I thought, and saved it to my pictures. I thought I saved it to my pictures, but if I did, I deleted them. And then I went back to Messenger, where she, or text, where she had sent them to me. It was text, not Messenger. And I had deleted the text message. So now I've got to go back and ask her for it again. Anyway, so I was like, okay, I know I need peanut butter. I know I need the dipping chocolate, but I can't remember what else. And I can't remember the actual measurements. So, you know, I'm going to give her a day or two, and then I'm going to ask her again and say, mm, I'm an idiot. I lost the recipe. Could you send it to me again? Well, the graham crackers that I got were so yummy. I put them all in a Ziploc bag, and I've been kind of snacking on them, you know, because who doesn't like a graham cracker? And TBH, these graham crackers almost tasted better than N-A-B-I-S-C-O. I mean, they were yummy. So, yeah, I came in here last night to sit on the couch and do nothing and brought me that little Ziploc bag of graham crackers because I wanted to eat a couple of little bite-sized pieces. Because, again, that's all that was in the bag because they crushed my heart along with all those graham crackers. Anyway, um, I left them on the coffee table. It's a normal thing to do, right? I mean, my tea's sitting on the coffee table right now. I left the bag of graham crackers on the coffee table. Now, I don't know what happened between the time I went to bed and this morning at about 10, 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock. I don't know what time it was. It don't matter. I walked into the living room, and this little brown dog of mine had the bag of gluten-free crackers. My expensive, gluten-free, honey graham crackers. And he had eaten every one of them. He had ripped open the bag and eaten every single one. <sighs> it's not meant for me to have those buckeyes, apparently. Apparently, I need to just move on about that thought. I do have another box of gluten-free crackers, but I may, at this point, I may just eat them because everything's going against me to make those Buckeyes. <laughs> uh, they're so good. So good. What can you do? What can you do? Um, yeah, but anyway, that's such a, that's all I wanted to tell you about. And, um, 
I have a haircut next Friday, so I'm very excited about that to get some of this madness cut off my head. My head. I got too much hair going on. And, um, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. It's New Year's Day, and I'm not doing anything. So, hmm. The joys of being over 50. Do what you want to. Mm. Okay. Happy New Year again. Goodbye. It's me again. I just opened the second box of graham crackers. And they're all shattered. Just like my heart into a million pieces. But instead of putting them in a Ziploc bag that apparently my dog can gain access to, I'm going to put them in a, a container with a lid. Because all I, all I want is a bite. All I want is a bite. Um, but let me show you how they arrived. Now, the box looked on this one. Oh, it looked okay. You can tell it's a little. The other box. Calm down here. Oh, my hair growth. Here's the other box. Here's the Amazon box. Here are my graham crackers. Now this package looks like it may have some uh, solid pieces in it. I'm not gonna return them. I'm not gonna complain. Because like I said, I want to make those things anyway, which requires them to be crumbled. It's just the principle of the thing. You know what I'm saying? Because two boxes cost me $12. $12. I can't find gluten-free graham crackers anywhere except on Amazon. So there. Okay. Goodbye.